Eggs are a nutritious and inexpensive staple of diets around the world. However, they have long been controversial because of their cholesterol-packed yolks. Before watching the video consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever I publish a new video. The relationship between cholesterol from eggs and cholesterol levels in the body is complicated. Understanding how cholesterol works and its relationship with egg consumption may help a person follow a healthy diet. This video reviews the growing body of evidence suggesting that eggs are actually healthy to include in the diet and do not raise cholesterol for most people. What is cholesterol, and is it bad? The liver naturally produces cholesterol. It is a fatty compound in every cell, and the body needs it to stay healthy. The body needs cholesterol for several processes. It is a structural molecule in cell membranes, and the body needs it to produce bile for digestion, vitamin D, and steroid hormones, such as estrogens and testosterone. The liver produces enough cholesterol to supply the body's needs. However, a person can also consume cholesterol in their diet. If someone consumes foods high in cholesterol, their liver responds by slowing down cholesterol production. This balances out cholesterol levels and keeps them constant, meaning that dietary sources of cholesterol, including eggs, typically have minimal impact on blood cholesterol. Nevertheless, this waxy compound has a bad reputation because of its links to coronary heart disease and stroke. The story behind cholesterol and its effects on human health is complex, partly because there are different versions of this molecule that act differently in the body. These may lead to healthy or unhealthy effects when their levels change. As part of normal body processes, molecules called lipoproteins combine with cholesterol to carry it in the blood. There are two general types of cholesterol, depending on the type of lipoprotein they are attached to. These are low-density lipoprotein or LDL cholesterol and high-density lipoprotein or HDL cholesterol. When people talk about the negative health effects of cholesterol, they are often referring to total cholesterol levels and the levels of a type generally known as LDL cholesterol. This is what people consider to be the bad type of cholesterol. If there is too much LDL cholesterol in a person's blood, it can stick to their blood vessel walls. Over time, this buildup of cholesterol can form plaques that narrow the arteries. This makes it harder for blood to flow through, increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke. People consider HDL cholesterol to be the good cholesterol. It helps keep bad cholesterol levels in check by transporting it to the liver, which recycles or removes it from the body. So are eggs unhealthy? A large body of recent research has suggested that consuming cholesterol in the diet, such as by eating eggs, is not associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Research has suggested that elevated levels of total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol in the blood are associated with negative health effects, including cardiovascular disease. However, some studies have indicated that eating eggs does not significantly impact cholesterol levels in most people. In fact, some studies have found that even though consuming eggs on a daily basis may lead to marginal increases in LDL, it also increases HDL. This means that the total cholesterol to HDL ratio, an important predictor of heart disease, remains steady. In the past, healthcare professionals advised people to limit the number of eggs or egg yolks they ate to no more than three per week. The rationale behind this recommendation was that egg yolks are high in cholesterol. Early researchers misunderstood the data and mistakenly concluded that dietary cholesterol directly contributed to raised blood cholesterol levels. Later researchers found this to be false. Now, in light of recent evidence, health experts are changing their stances on eggs. In their 2015-2020 publication, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans removed the recommendation for people to limit their consumption of dietary cholesterol to under 300 mg per day. A number of recent studies have confirmed that eating eggs as part of a healthy diet does not increase the risk of heart problems. One of these studies looked at 177,000 people in 50 countries. It found no significant associations between egg intake and cholesterol levels, death rates, or major cardiovascular disease events. The study also found no significant link between how many eggs someone ate and their cholesterol levels. A 2019 study in the journal Circulation found that eating eggs was not associated with ischemic heart disease. Moreover, the researchers found that substituting red and processed meats with fish, dairy, or eggs was associated with a 20% lower risk of ischemic heart disease. 
The American Heart Association published a scientific advisory in 2020 that concluded that healthy people could safely eat a whole egg daily. They also approved two eggs daily for healthy older adults because of the overall nutritional benefits and convenience of eggs. There is a lack of information regarding high egg consumption levels, as research tends to focus on consuming one or two eggs daily. However, one case study reported that an 88 year old man ate 25 eggs daily. His cholesterol levels were normal, and he was in good health. Bear in mind that these findings do not demonstrate that eating a large number of eggs per day is healthy for everyone. It is important to note that even though most people can enjoy cholesterol rich foods, everyone is different. People with certain genetic mutations that affect their cholesterol levels may need to follow a reduced cholesterol diet in order to maintain healthy blood levels. Overall, it seems that eating eggs is safe for most people. However, as with all foods, people should consume eggs in moderation and as part of a balanced diet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more videos of this kind, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time.